Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. I'm just going to pop down some cards for today, Friday and the weekend. Um, so let's just have a little shuffle and see what we've got. I'm going to be using the fork and the tarot as usual, black and white version. And let's just have a little look and see what we have for the day. This is our card, first of all, for Friday. For Friday, I have Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Seven of Pentacles is quite an interesting card. It's um talks about lots of different things now the pentacles cards are as we know um all to do with work business money um abundance all those things material stuff usually um but the seven of pentacles is quite an interesting one because it can also i mean all the cards can go across all different subjects um but what i find really interesting about the seven of pentacles is because it's tends to come up when we are looking at whether we're investing our time wisely, are we investing in the right um, people, in the right activities and in the right energy? So today is a kind of time for you to have a little think about whether you are spending your time in the right way. Um, so obviously that's going to be different for everyone. And, you know, what's right for you is not necessarily right for me. Um, but what I would say is that it's a day today to give that some thought. So if you've kind of just been plodding on, doing something, doing something, doing something, doing something, and you're kind of in the back of your head, you're thinking, oh, I don't really know whether this is worth it. Today's a really good day to kind of have a real good think about that and see about whether you are investing in the right things, spending your time doing the right things, investing in the right people. Um, quite often comes up in terms of um, romance and relationships for people, you know, when they're kind of thinking, do you know what, I think I'm putting more effort into this than somebody else is, or they are. Um, so it's a good time for you to give that some thought and to see whether you whether you believe that your um, your efforts are worth it or not. Now, I think in relationships you have to be a bit careful um relationships are not a bank account okay you don't put into a relationship to get out of it you put in what you want to put in um if you put it in expecting stuff in return chances are you're going to be pretty disappointed to be honest because everyone's different and everyone has a different view of what's what's a lot to put in and what's a not a lot to put in so if you can love somebody without expectation then you're much more likely to be a happy bunny because if you love someone with the expectation of what they're going to give you back, setting yourself up for disappointment quite a lot. Of the time, sorry, I just needed a little gulp of my tea. So I would say always, always go into, go into something, not just relationships, but go into things without an attachment to the outcome of what you put in. So if you don't feel able to or happy to put in whatever it is you're putting in without getting something back i'd seriously consider whether you, whether it's worth you bothering to put something in or not only put in what you're prepared to put in for your own joy and happiness don't be dependent on somebody reciprocating something back to you to in, in inverted commas make you happy okay nobody can make you happy that's your job you know, it's not someone else's job to fix you. It's not someone else's job to make you happy. It's not someone else's job to keep you interested in life. That's your job. OK, so I would just um, offer you that um, with love. And I'm aware that that's come through probably quite harsh. But that's what my guide is giving me. And that's the speed he's giving me the information at. So sometimes it can come through very quickly and very directly from my guide. Um, he can be very, very direct in what he's saying. Um, basically, what he's saying here is, is your happiness is your responsibility and no one else's. 
okay so just use today as a bit of a day for having a little peruse on that and deciding what you think and what's best for you i'm going to put down another card now for the weekend okay so the card i've got um for saturday into sunday is the queen of pentacles now the queen of pentacles is goes quite nicely with this because what the queen of pentacles does is she makes sure she invests very wisely in whatever it is she's doing whether it be to do with business whether it be to do with work um queen of pentacles is not the sort of woman who would go into a business know that it's not performing properly and just chuck a load of money at it okay that is not a queen of pentacles thing a queen of pentacles would look at that properly she'd sum it all up she'd look at it um practically she'd take all the emotion out of it and she would decide whether it was worth investing any more of her time and effort in it okay this is what we're up the seven of pentacles is asking you to do today if you do that effectively the queen of pentacles is what you get rewarded with okay so you you become um successful abundant all of those things that go with the queen of pentacles um it's a powerful nurturing um abundant rich prosperous energy the the queen of pentacles um but she gets to be the queen of pentacles and living in that like lap of luxury because she's been wise here in the seven okay so today we're looking at what we're investing in and uh, what what that's about for us is it worth it what do we what should we focus on basically the queen of pentacles is what we get as a reward if we do a good job here okay so in terms of the weekend it's today's um feels like you're spending time deciding um what you're gonna what you're gonna invest in and the queen of pentacles is you reaping the rewards of having done a really good job of that today so your weekend can be very successful um and time to kind of maybe enjoy some little treats the queen of pentacles likes likes little treats she likes the finer things in life okay she likes she likes good food good wine um you know nice things and um it's quite a, a materialistic card I, I guess um but you know it can apply across other things as well you know if you're making if you're making some decisions today or based on the seven of pentacles that are saying well you know i'm not going to invest too much more time in x person because they've been a bit pants to me um so i'm going to invest more in myself and have a nice time and relax and go for a sauna or go for a spa day um then you know it's not just about stuff it can just be about taking care of yourself and um and kind of nurturing yourself a little bit as well so queen of pentacles is all about that um, it's not just about stuff she likes she likes to you know have put her feet up maybe just have a little bit of chocolate while she's watching a favorite movie so it doesn't have to be loads of expensive stuff it can be just a treat for yourself and that can be in the form of spending some time just chilling out and doing some stuff that you enjoy rather than running around like a loony behind someone who might not have been giving you something back okay so card i've got here for the um oracle cards to go with this is interesting now for a woman holding a coin and the woman holding the coin is the queen of pentacles this is the same card okay the oracle cards have have very similar meanings to the tarot sometimes not always some of the oracle cards are very very different but this particular one is the queen of pentacles okay she's the woman holding the coin and you can see you know you can see how much she likes to be um well dressed well looked after you can see all her hair's all done really lovely and um beautiful dress um lovely flowers around her really kind of opulent colors in the furniture and stuff around her um she's also got a black cat okay black cats have a bad old press and i don't really know why because i always learned that black cats were good luck um why people think they might be bad luck not really sure um i think that's miscommunication misunderstanding from somewhere i've always um 
believed that they were good luck and my my old nanny told me that and I believe what she said because she knew what she was talking about so black cats good luck good fortune very very interesting um pair of cards there for Saturday um kind of talking about luck and all of that stuff so um good times for the weekend i'm feeling very very good times um i will leave it there i think for today if i am around on sunday and i've got time i might lay down another card for sunday just as a um a little extra but i've got a couple of card unboxing videos that i want to record and put up this weekend if i can so i may not do a card for the day sunday these these are really for today friday and the whole weekend so that there's there's a message there that is saying think about how you're spending your time what you're investing your time and effort into and then um once you've kind of got yourself sorted with that enjoy it enjoy your weekend um i will leave that with you for now have a really really wonderful weekend um guys hopefully get those unboxing videos recorded probably tomorrow uh sunday probably to be honest um and i will speak to you again very soon have a really really good weekend bye for now